Last night in a private meeting with the freshman Democrats in the House of Representatives, President Obama told them why he loves Nancy Pelosi. He said, the reason I love Nancy is because she combines a passion for doing what's right for our country and our kids, along with a toughness that can't be matched on the Hill. We know precious little about what the president actually said in that room. The Washington Post was able to get a few Obama quotes out of the freshman Democrats who attended the meeting. And I'm not sure if the president framed it this way, but he did give the freshmen the key advice about how to remain human beings while being politicians, how to retain their humanity, their sense of themselves in what is a swirling and sometimes raging sea of compromise called politics. The compromises are large and small. The compromises involve everything from governing policy to how much time you will spend with your children to how much time you will spend fundraising versus how much time you will spend governing and on and on. And most politicians lose themselves in that endless swirl of all of that compromise. They get caught up in it. They get lost in the fog of it, of it all. And eventually, sometimes very quickly, you don't recognize them if you knew them before they became politicians. Politics is a place where you can lose your soul, and in my experience, most politicians do. But there's a way to hold on to who you really are, even when you're a politician. I realized how you do this after a couple of years of working in the United States Senate and thinking about it a lot. I put it in the form of a question then. What would you not do or say to get reelected? Most politicians, that's a trick question for them. They don't even understand it because most politicians would do or say anything to get reelected. According to the Washington Post, this is the political life advice that President Obama gave the new members of Congress last night. Obama also gave the freshmen some advice. Find the policy you're willing to lose your seat over and fight for it. That's it. That's the key to retaining your humanity, retaining who you are as a person while being a politician. Find the policy you are willing to lose your seat over. Have an answer to the question, what would you not do to win re-election? And no matter how many compromises you make as a politician, if you hold on to that one defining point about yourself, if you always know the lines you will not cross to win re-election, then your family and friends will always recognize the person they knew before you became a politician. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from The Last Word and the rest of MSNBC.